when you first, I guess, got to Atlanta, mm -hmm. how long did it take you to maybe start building a little buzz? Did, I mean, was it quick? Did quick. It, take, it was quick. Okay. Yeah, quick. Okay. <laughs> quick. We started, like, we started hitting the open mics, <laughs> okay. you know, quick, like people started fucking with me. Right. Yeah. Okay. Quick. Definitely. So now, going back to your single, you keep, I keep smelling money, excuse me, mm -hmm. that you did with one of Battle Rap's very known like legends, Arsenal, the Rebel. Uh -huh. So how did you and Arsenal uh, initially link up and, you know, make that track happen? South by Southwest. South by Southwest. The first time, the, the, <laughs> the, the, the first South by Southwest I did. Really? Yep. Okay. He, he, he performed at the same spot I performed. Okay. And that's how we met. Okay. And then we linked up switch contacts and he he fucked with me and then he hit me up in my dm let's work okay, okay. <laughs> he's like i fuck with you like let's work and mm -hmm. that's how the the he remixed the i keep smelling money and then he he also did like snapchat where he jamming to it and then with his money in his hands like i keep smelling money and stuff shout <laughs> out to purple lane <laughs> right, right. yeah shout out to him one love. Right. And so you also worked with um, Grammy Award hip hop gospel artist Candy Jones, correct? Yes. Right. So <laughs> tell us about that. Yo, I went to I went to um, to his church. Okay. Right. Like, by accident. By accident, <laughs> we went to his church. <laughs> so where were y'all trying to go? Like, we thought we was going to a single release. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> wow. And you went to church. Yeah. yeah. Was it on a Sunday, too? Uh, no, it oh, was on okay, okay. Thursday. A Thursday. But when we pulled up, we like, free life. We like, free life? That's <laughs> That's right. like a church. <laughs> oh, okay. But we went in anyways. When we went in, and then, and then, and then we, we stayed... And then after the whatever, after the whole thing, he, he, I went to him and then we introduced ourselves to each other again and like, and then he's like, I got to try, like, I told him, I reminded him that I do music and that's what I'm here for. And I, I'm like, yo, um, I fuck with you. Mm -hmm. I didn't say fuck with you. Right, right. I just tell you that church You know, you, like, you're the yeah, artist. No, right. <laughs> <laughs> you're the Jesus. <laughs> Like it's dope, like was it like, yeah. And then and he's like, I got a track for you. And then he he's like the track called Excellent, but Excellent. I'm looking for the right person for it. But who I'm looking for, you say you from Haiti, you got the accent, you like about that life, like it's you. I need on the track. Randomly, first time. Randomly. Like, wow, <laughs> that's crazy. And then and then the same night he emailed me the track. And then I were I finished I finished it the same night, sent it back. Really? Yep. Okay, That's a okay. dope track. You guys can find on track. YouTube and everything. Mm -hmm. I mean, iTunes, stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, no, no, he's for it's for his project. For his project. Oh, oh, yeah, it's not out. Yeah. It's oh, it's not out yet. Okay. It's we can, not we can let you hear behind the scenes. Yeah, okay. 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 Yeah, yeah, we but I got the track. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, Ken Jones, a purple A. Excellent, right? Excellent, right. yeah. Coming soon, some point mm -hmm. in time, right? Mm hmm. All right. Um, so, how badly was your family impacted or your friends? Like, what can you tell us about the earthquake that where you know you were at at the time it happened and everything like that? Yeah, um, when it happened, I was in Hollywood, Florida. I was in college, and I heard the news. And my mom was living in, in Haiti at the time, too. So I couldn't concentrate. Like, my world, like, just crashed. Because I didn't, I couldn't get, we, nobody, almost couldn't get, couldn't get in touch with nobody in Haiti. They okay. we couldn't hear from family members. We couldn't hear anything. So, like, I, I was, like, all broken. And I had to, I had to not go to school at the time because I didn't know what was going on if my mom was okay and a few like like a day or two I got a call and my mom told me she was okay because the um it where she was was where I'm where I was born Velet which is outside the capital but the capital is the part that got the most 
um, distractions and everything. And I lost. I, I used to go to school to Port au Prince as well, and okay. I lost classmates, a lot of classmates, my friends that that was that were still living there. They 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 got killed by the by the earthquake. Friends I grew up with. A lot of them. Really? Family members. Yep. I'll say my condolences. Mm-hmm. Yep. And everything that happened happened for a reason. Right. And I felt the pain that made me stronger okay. and made me grateful for life every day. Mm-hmm. And yeah, it was a it, it was a tough time. Yeah, and it stings. I know. Um, you know, you rep Haiti very hard. Yep. All over your Instagram, like performing, yep. you got your Haitian flag. So, who are some of your biggest influences that are Haitian? Musical, um, excuse me. Yeah, um, influences. I came from a musical family. Okay. I came, my, um, my dad used to have a band. Back in the days, but I was too young to remember. What was, oh, you okay, I was too young to remember, okay. but I heard people that used to talk about it like your dad and your your uncles used to have that famous band. Do you remember the name of it? No, I don't okay. remember the name, but okay. music is in my blood. <laughs> okay. But I never really, really was like a musician. Okay. And my brothers too grew up to have a band. And they used to do music, and I was still young, but they, they used to put me on stage. I used to just dance okay. on stage with them. And, like, artists, famous Haitian artists-wise, I used to like, um, I used to love um, a band called La Cor. You got to okay. be true Haitian to know. <laughs> okay, right. Tablet La Cor. You made me do some research when I get home. Yeah, Tablet La Colle. <laughs> La Colle and, and Alan Cave and there's um, another artist called Ansi There Was and Emily Michelle. Okay. Yeah. So you got to be a true Haitian to really You got to be true Haitian to know those people. They make great music. Okay. And I used to always listen to them. Jacques Sauveur Jean. Yeah, they're great like, artists. They sing in French and Creole, and then sometimes English, too. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Now, what about any, I guess, Haitian artists that people in America will more so know? Like, are you, like, a Wyclef fan, or everybody knows Kodak Black? Yes, She's yes, like of, of course, of course, of course. Wyclef, yes. Yeah. Yeah, I, okay. I went deep, I went deep real quick, because people won't know about those people. Right, All yeah. they talk about yeah. is Shout Wyclef. out Haiti, yeah, shout out yeah. Haiti. Talk yeah. about some more Haitian mm-hmm. artists, you know? Mm-hmm. And, but yeah, yeah I, I fuck with Wyclef. Like, okay. all Haitians know Wyclef, <laughs> you know? He's a dope artist. Right. He's a very dope artist, and I, I fuck with Kodak Black yeah. as well. I like Kodak. Yeah, I, like Kodak. I, I fuck with anything positive my Haitians doing. Yeah, yeah, he's a... Yeah. Uh, Kodak, he rep Haiti hard, too. Yep. You know? Yeah, but actually, like, I rep Haiti even harder because I am... I am... I was born in Haiti. Right. I was partly raised in Haiti. Right. Yep. I, I, I came from not 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 having not having almost anything. Like no barely lights, no lights, no stove. Like my my mom had to do what she had to do. Right. And and that's that's the part of Haiti I came from. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Just to run the streets barefooted, you really? know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, because <clears throat> definitely, um, Haiti's definitely a very, you know, different culture. Mm-hmm. You know, I've never been to Haiti, you know. I have, like, a lot of football players talk about, like, Pierre Garçon. They used to play for my Redskins. That's my favorite NFL team. They were in San Francisco now. Mm-hmm. Um, Ricky Jean Francois. I believe that's how you pronounce his name. He used to play Redskins as well, and they talked about the, you know, the hurricane, earthquake, and the Haitian, you know, relief. Yeah, talking about the, the hurricane, um, the, the hurricane when it happened, okay. my mom was in Haiti as well. And, really? Yep, and then it was a time, like, it happened when I, I had a show while I, I was attending. And and after, at the end of the show, I just broke down. I couldn't take it anymore too much, but I, I didn't give up. I performed, but at the end of the show, I had to scream. I had to be like, oh my, like, cry. Right, so you was, was on your mind the whole time you performed. Yep, yep. 
my mom was stuck in Haiti during the hurricane and I lost more friends, of okay. course, that I went to school with. Okay. And I had, um, yeah. Did you I'm lose going. any any family members? Yeah, yeah. You did, well, okay, my, so I did that as well. A couple. Right. Yeah. And so now, um, I know you said you had brothers, correct? Mm -hmm. So what were your brothers at the time? Were they in Haiti as well? No, they, no, my brother's not in Haiti. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. I have, yeah. They're not in Haiti. Okay. So are you the youngest? Yeah, I'm the youngest uh, okay. and the, the only daughter and, and the last kid. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah. Great, great. So you've also had your music on radio stations as well, mm -hmm. such as K100 and 97.9. Mm -hmm. WIBB and new radio. So, what were some of the songs that you know were played on the on the radio stations? Um, I mean, I know it's probably hard. Is this <laughs> what you want? It is what you My want. My track is this what you want? Okay. I keep smelling money. Okay. Both version, my version, and then Arsenal and the version. Remix. The remix. Okay. And and mainly Boise Boise. The hit right. single. Right, right. That's over a million stream right now. Alright, okay. Yeah. So, now the video for it? The video is cooking. <laughs> it's, cooking. it's coming up. Okay. It's fun to be dope. Right. Like, as soon as it touches the internet, it's going to go viral. Alright. You. you know what? <laughs> because you got a million views on SoundCloud. So now you got to have a crazy <laughs> video. Yo. You got to have a crazy video. <laughs> Yeah, you I'm, not gonna you <laughs> you I'm not going to tell you too much. I'm not going to tell you too much. Just wait for it. <laughs> now, did you expect that song to, to be that big? You know, and I'm asking because when I did um, Lil Snoop's mother, his, uh -huh. her interview, you know, I, I figured, I said, like, okay, I need a big video that's going to really try to take me to the next level. You know, I, that's when I just dropped Rico Reckless. You mm -hmm. know, that made, that blew up quickly. Mm -hmm. So... When I did Lil Snoop's uh, part one here interview, I got over 100,000 views in, the first, in, a, in a day, mm -hmm. in 19 hours. I didn't even expect it to do that much. I was hoping at least for 20,000, mm -hmm. you know. But then that rolled out. That's almost at um, half a million views. Mm -hmm. Probably more like, yeah, I don't know, close enough. But it's like 450,000, I believe. I could be wrong. Um, so did you expect that song to do what it did? Yes. You did? Yes, ah, because, okay. because I told, like I said... The mm -hmm. people who were they were waiting for it. They kept requesting it. They loved that song. Mm. Yeah. And I knew it was gonna do super well. Right, right. And so you're grinding independent, right? Yeah, independent grind. Mm -hmm. No no big machine behind me yet. Independent grind. I just go out there and don't wait for no one and go get it. Yeah, you got to. You yep, got to that's the mindset. Right. You can control your own music the way you want to do it. Yep, that's you know, faith, with faith and belief. Right, yeah, that's that's great. You got your own control, like 100% control. Mm -hmm. Like, I'll hate for somebody to tell me how to do my stuff, you know. Exactly. And, uh, exactly. And so, yeah, man. I can't, I can't, you can, you, I can't forget about my, 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 myself because I'm the brand. I'm a brand. Right. If, if I, if I become you, so what is left? What is, what's left? The people love me. I gotta be me. I got people that tell me, oh man, you take you say too much. You keep um, you need to stop telling people that you from you came from dirt, came from nothing, came from Haiti. You true Haitian, like you need to stop saying that. Like um, some people might not help you, might not fuck with you. I'm like, what's meant to be will always be. Right. I flew in from Haiti. No one but they didn't bring me here. So I'm here to do what I'm supposed to do, what I feel like I should do. I'm humble. I respect everyone. But just let me be me because that's what the people want. They want me to be myself. So I'm going to talk about I'm a true Haitian, straight out of, straight from the dirt, straight from the gutter, straight from the slums. That's who I am. Okay, okay. See, I'm not going to lie and say, oh, I grew up rich. I, I got this right. and that. It's going to come. Got to be proud where you're from. Yeah, I'm proud mm -hmm. of where you, my, where I'm from. Yeah. Right. One right. of the poorest countries, mm -hmm. but that doesn't mean right. my mindset is poor. You know? Right. 